Hello friends, Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com with another episode of Food FAQ. A request via Twitter, Chris, how do you season chicken as they do in the Caribbean? Well, this is very simple. I'm going to show you guys the basics of it, but remember you guys can always tailor it to your own liking. You can use this for seasoning chicken and marinating it for grilling, for making stews, the brown stew or the, or the sort of stew we make in the Southern Caribbean, or for making curry chicken as well. Let's get to it. In my bowl here, I've got a couple pounds of chicken. Well, I guess it doesn't matter how much chicken you have. If we're seasoning chicken, we're seasoning chicken. This is boneless chicken thighs. And one of the, the first things you would notice in the Caribbean, what we do, and there's a lot of debate about this. And that is something I will touch on in another video is, what we usually do is we wash the chicken with lemon juice or lime juice or vinegar and water and we wash it individually piece by piece removing all as much of the fat in the skin and stuff like that and again there's a lot of debate whether or not that promotes bacteria or if it removes bacteria we will touch on that another time first thing first salt then we're gonna go in with black pepper and again the amount of salt you use will be dependent on how much chicken that you're actually seasoning. I like to go in with a little bit of tomato ketchup and if you guys notice we had a bit of spillage into my salt there. Let's see what? Some Lee and Perrin's Worcestershire. It's a couple drops of that. Now if you're making curry chicken I would hold off on that Lee and Perrin's but for stews and for grilling and stuff like that, watch now. That nice too bad. Caribbean green seasoning. In here I have a combination of all the herbs that I like using. So thyme, shadow benny, um, culantro, all our culantro, oh, same thing. What are going on with Chris today, boy? But all those favorite seasonings like the Spanish thyme and everything, all blended up in there. I've got garlic in there as well. I've got pimento peppers in there. So everything that I like using is in that. In goes a bit of scotch bonnet pepper, how much you use, and if you use that, it's totally up to you. For a little bit more acid kick, some tomato, some diced onion, and I like going in with a little bit of freshly grated ginger. And then all we would do at this point now is give that a good mix. You really want to mix that. Now here's the thing guys, you can use this as your base. You can go ahead and add any sort of other ingredients you want in there when seasoning this. So if you have fresh pimento peppers, you can certainly go in with that. Um, what else? Um, some scallions if you want. But in my green seasoning, I have all of that fresh thyme. You can go in with that. But again, in my green seasoning, I have all of that. Cover it, allow it to marinate for at least a couple hours, and you've just perfected seasoning chicken as it's done in the Caribbean. Give that a good stir. Boy, oh boy, as a kid, I remember after my mom, well, I would always help my mom sort out the herbs, the fresh herbs for seasoning this. I always wanted to get a whiff of that after she was done seasoning it. Chris here, Food FAQ. Hope you guys enjoyed the little quick video, how to season chicken as it's done in the Caribbean.